So I'm going to have log. What's my base? What's my number? What's my x on? What do I do to figure that out now? Gracie grabbed it. She knows. Right. We're going to hit math. Go down to log base. Fill in those blanks. Let's round it to the nearest hundred today. I feel like two decimal places. 2.81. I like those kind better.
exponential form? Yeah, so let's write that in log form. I'm going to have log. What's my base? E. Wouldn't that be L? Uh huh. That's where I'm going. Good job, Kelly. Of 5 is equal to negative 0.3x. Now, this log base E is the same as ln. And just to remember that, log base E is a natural log. So now, I'm just going to hit the LN button over there on the far left side. See it? LN of 5, what do you get to the 100? 4.61? Is equal to negative 0.3x. So what my last step be? very consistent on my equal or approximately sign. All of these technically are approximations because we rounded. The, did you see the sign I used the first time? That's what I should still be using. It's the squiggly equal sign. The squiggly equal sign is approximately. So not bad. It looks like it's going to be hard, but it's not really all that difficult, is it? Step one. Add 17. Is that 25? So x is 
and we did one earlier that had two logs, but it was on different sides of the equal sign. So we could say the log was equal to the log, right? This one, they're on the same side of the equal sign, so that's not an option. So when you've got more than one log on the same side of the equal sign, you're going to see if you can condense that down to one log. Remember we did condensing and expanding using the quotient, the product, and the power property. Which one of these would, would I be using here? What is addition friends with? Uh, multiplication. It's friends with multiplication with the product. So this would be the same as the log, and it's got an understood base of 10, so I'm not paying anything on my 10, of 2x times x minus 5. You could distribute here, and that would be okay. You could go straight to um, exponential form, and that would be okay. So you want to go in distribution since Kylie said that? Is that all right? So get me log of 2x squared minus 10x is equal to 2. Now that looks funny because your n is big. But it's okay. What will my base be on this? I said it earlier. Good. Courtney, it's an understood base 10 if there's not a number written there, right? So my base is 10 to the what power? 2. two. Right in bin form, y'all, with that? Oh. Is equal to that whole thing is your number now. 2x squared minus 10x. Alright, you know what 10 squared is, so write that, 10 times 10. Alright, we've got a quadratic now because we've got a square. Quadratics we did before Christmas, what, what, what was the first thing we had to do when we solved quadratics? It has to do with this fun note here. It's going to be set equal to zero. Very good. So we're going to subtract that. So I give me 2x squared minus 10x minus 100 is equal to zero. Then, a reminder here, solving quadratic, factoring, completing squared, quadratic formula. Those are all your choices. I'm going to go ahead and take a 2 out of that. This 2 will go evenly into all that, and I'll make my number smaller. So that's just my preference. If something will go into all of it, the GCF, I take that out. So if I divide all that by 2, it gets me x squared minus 5x minus 50. Now, I didn't write down my 2 outside of there. When we did factoring a long time ago, we had to put this in the parentheses and have the 2 outside. Remember that? Why do I not have to do that here? If I choose to do factoring, I'll, I'll tell you, so choose, didn't answer. So if I choose to do factoring, remember you set all your factors equal to zero. Remember that? Come on, you got remember. Two does not equal zero. So that's like a dummy answer. You can throw that out. Two doesn't equal zero. So, all right. I can see if this will factor, or I can do the quadratic formula. Are there any factors of negative 50 that add to negative 5? 